Hey, St. Louis, it's Angela Hackman here, your host on STL TV. Um, we've got a really special guest in the house today. We brought in Executive Director of the Down Syndrome Association of Greater St. Louis, Aaron Sulman. Aaron, how are you? Hey, great, thanks for having me. Well, thank you for being here. This is an especially busy time of year for you <laughs> because the association that I do want to get into in a second, yeah. but you've got this amazing exhibit going on called Just As I Am, Portraits and Stories of People Living with Down Syndrome. Mm -hmm. That's right. Talk a bit about that. Why did you do it? How did you pull this off? Yeah. This is great. Yeah, um, so we got connected with a gentleman named Randy Bacon. He's a photographer out of Springfield. Okay. Um, and we heard that he had done this beautiful exhibit on individuals with Down Syndrome. Mm -hmm. He had partnered with our friends over in Kansas City, Down Syndrome Innovations, to do this photography exhibit. Um, and so we were getting ready for a, an event of our own on World Down Syndrome Day, which is March 21st. And we said, you know, we'd really love to have something that brought people in, raised awareness about Down Syndrome mm -hmm. in our region. So we got connected with Randy. He's a beautiful human being. And um, he was able to bring his art to our location here in Brentwood. And so it's on exhibition through June 30th. I mean, look, these photos are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I mean, the lighting, and you can just tell, looking at someone, like, you get to share what people's life is like. Mm -hmm. Every picture is literally telling a story. Yeah, absolutely. And there is a story that goes along with every photograph. And mm -hmm. I think, um, you know, the beautiful thing about Randy and his work is that he's really trying to illuminate folks that might not normally be photographed or people that, that people might typically shy away from, you know, so oh, with interesting. folks with Down syndrome, I think there's, um, and disabilities in general, there's usually a little bit of fear, not knowing what to say, mm -hmm. um, maybe not wanting to look too close. So his art really um, puts it right in front of you and it shows you the beauty of these individuals um, that might not normally be seen day to day. Yeah, exactly. And I think what he's doing in his portraits are, it's so, it's stunning mm -hmm. because it almost, it just gives you the chills. It's like, whether it's the lighting, but you just see it an energy from mm -hmm. each person. And I, I see possibility, I see talent, mm -hmm. I see just unstoppability, which mm -hmm. I think is really amazing that he captured that. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. So, Aaron, you've been executive director for about a decade now. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, why are you passionate about Down syndrome? Yeah, um, I mean, I'm passionate about Down syndrome because my brother has Down syndrome. So okay. he's 37. Um, when I saw these photographs, I automatically thought, like, wow, this this could be my brother in one of these photographs. Oh, my. So that's why, I mean, I've known people with Down syndrome my whole life, mm -hmm. um, and I just i am really passionate about helping the community and, and making sure that every person with Down syndrome can live their best possible life. Exactly. Yeah, I, I think, well, has your brother seen the exhibit yet? Yeah, he has. He participates in programs at our office, oh, and sweet. so he's gotten to see it. My parents have gotten to see it. And oh, my gosh. I bet they're so proud of you. Oh, It's, it's so you. important <laughs> just to shine a light on people, like mm -hmm. you said, that might not always get the spotlight for whatever reason. Right, right. And you've got this beautiful newly renovated event space. Mm -hmm. Talk about that, it's in your office, right? Yeah, yeah, so we um, we were really excited a couple years ago, right in the midst of the pandemic, to move our office space over to Brentwood. So we serve about 2,000 people with Down syndrome in the greater St. Louis region. Um, that's Eastern Missouri and Southern Illinois. Oh, so wow. we needed more space to serve our community. Um, what a great so, problem. <laughs> I know, and, and it's, we're so um, lucky and we're so fortunate to be able to do this work mm -hmm. and serve so many folks. So we moved to Brentwood um, and we have this really lovely space, but we kind of outgrew it quickly. So what we did was we renovated our multi-purpose room. It's wonderful, beautiful, worked with the folks at GSNS and um, they've created this really beautiful multi-functional space for us to do all kinds of things. Oh, that's cool. So do you, when you're not having an exhibit there, can you share some other types of events that might joyfully fill up that event space? Yeah, absolutely. So for World Down Syndrome Day, we had our partner and um, donor thank you event. And then we have programs all week long. So we have programs um, almost every day of the week in our office for people with Down Syndrome and for their caregivers. So we are always filling the room up with um, skill building, recreational and social opportunities for our, the people that we serve. Wow, yeah. that sounds really incredible. Yeah, it's really magical. 
Yeah, is there anything else on the horizon that you're able to share that's going on at the association? Sure, um, so we do have, this is a busy time of year for us. In, on June 4th, we have our Step Up for Down Syndrome walk um, oh. in Forest Park. So we'll have about 4,000 people out for that. It's our largest fundraiser and awareness raiser of the year. Um, so that's we'll sign up on your website for that. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. Go to our website. You can get involved. You can volunteer. You can donate um, to support our mission. And then, you know, I think um, one of our hopes is that we can get Randy back to St. Louis and he can do some of his photo uh, photographs of our folks um, here in the eastern half of the state in, in that Illinois. Would be cause... great because his photographs that we saw before, those are from you said Kansas City, Columbia, other wonderful surrounding areas. But yeah. oh, how cool to get super local. Absolutely. He should do a talk. I would come hear him talk about these and his mm -hmm. process and maybe meet some of some of the beautiful people in the pictures. We definitely should arrange that because he was um, he's such an amazing individual. He talks about his really his dedication to um, making sure that every human is seen. We're all unique. We're all yes. individuals. And um, he really brings the beauty of every single individual to light through his photographs. He sure does. How did you get connected with Randy? Um, like I said, we saw about, we saw his exhibit in the news and then so I reached out to my friends over um, in Springfield and okay. they connected us to Randy. So, and he's just a really generous person who wanted to, you know, obviously showcase his work to yeah. the world, so. So what would you, what do you want people to know about Down syndrome that they don't know? Are there any things that they need, you need to change your perspective about. Mm -hmm. Can you just enlighten us a little bit about sure, it? Sure, sure. So one of the mission of the organization is to serve, support, and celebrate the lives of people with Down syndrome and their families through every stage of life. So we serve mm -hmm. from a prenatal diagnosis all the way to a person's end of life um, and everywhere in between. Oh. And so I think one of our big goals, a big part of our mission is that celebration piece is raising awareness because we think that that will lead to more inclusion. Um, and so, I, like I said, I think there can be fear sometimes when somebody has a disability and you're not really sure how to act or yeah. um, what questions to ask. So. Mm -hmm it creates a, a separation or a division. So what we really try to talk about is that people with Down syndrome, we're all more alike than different. People with Down syndrome have their own unique set of challenges, but you get to know them, you learn a little bit more, and you realize that you know they're just like you and me. Exactly, exactly, just as I am. Exactly. I just think that's the best title for mm -hmm. something. And how about that image? That looks like a movie poster. Absolutely. Yeah. They're so beautiful. And I, that's one of the things I love about my friends with Down syndrome is there's that vulnerability because they mm -hmm. are like, here I am. And it's the title captures it perfectly. Oh, this is I am. 100%. This is who I am. If you don't like it, then, you know, that's too bad. Yep. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that we're not for each other <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> and that's okay. Mm -hmm. um, what other types of programs you mentioned, you have programming like every day at at your office. Yeah, almost every day. So um, one of our pillar programs is family support. So we really try to support the family as soon as they get the diagnosis, whether that's prenatal or at the time of birth. Um, and we welcome about 40, between 40 and 60 new babies a year in oh our region. Goodness. Um, and so we provide a lot of support up front in those first few years dealing with the diagnosis, um, feelings around the diagnosis, mm -hmm. getting set up with all the um, healthcare providers, early intervention therapies, and then just creating a sense of community for folks. Yes. Um, sometimes the diagnosis was unexpected, so we try to wrap our arms around the family and give them everything that they need in those um, early years. And then we're just there throughout life whenever mm -hmm. a family needs us. Questions, oh, that's emails, beautiful. we're there. We're the um, most comprehensive resource on Down syndrome in the region. So that's our job, just to be there when anybody needs us. Um, we have educator trainings, medical professional trainings, and then a lot of workshops um, and trainings for parents along the way, in addition to our skill building and social programs for people with Down syndrome. You have thought of everything. We I try. think that's <laughs> really cool that from birth till the end, mm -hmm. you're, you're there for them however they need you, mm -hmm. providing a, a safe space, an educational space, mm -hmm. and really just, I think for the whole community, creating that inclusion. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. You know, it's like the, no one should be in a different bucket because of whatever, you right. know, it's like we are literally, we're, we're all the same. Right, so. and inclusion really benefits everyone. You know, we have an employment program. We're trying to get people with Down syndrome jobs in the community. Oh, that's um, nice. Yeah, so I think it, 
us all being around people who are not exactly like us is just, it's just a benefit. Mm -hmm. It opens our minds, opens our hearts. and Absolutely, and it sort of just erases those limitations mm -hmm. and it's instead, you're like, the sky is the limit. Mm -hmm. What you can do just about anything. Yep. And I think that's really cool that you're equipping not only the individual, but their family too. Because mm -hmm. as family, you're all in things together. Yeah, absolutely. And sometimes it can take a village. Absolutely. Yeah. So. Wow. So this exhibit is happening now. It's going only through June, June 30th. That'll be here before we know it. So make sure you check them out. They're over on Strassner in Brentwood. Um, definitely, you've got to see Randy Bacon's work. It is absolutely stunning. Um, and you just might be a little bit changed and moved by the end of this exhibit. So definitely follow them on social media. You can check out their website. There are many ways to get involved. If you wanna volunteer, if you wanna learn about programs, if you simply are feeling it and you wanna donate, all of that is invited and welcomed on the website. Erin, thank you so much for your time today. I wish you the best of luck with this exhibit. I will be there 100% to check it out and, and support. I think it's really cool what you're doing. Awesome, thank you. You're welcome. And while you're sticking around, make sure you check us out on social media. We are on all the wonderful platforms, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, you name it, you can find us. We're also on the website, stltv.net. All sorts of great stuff going on there. So check us out, all right? That's gonna do it. Keep it right here where you get to experience St. Louis. Thank you so much for watching.